Between the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2 and the Sony WF-1000XM3, which is better? Let's find out in this video. Hi guys, this is Big Fear and welcome back to another video. This time, we're going to be comparing two of the best true wireless earbuds in the market right now. Hands down, the two best true wireless earbuds. The Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2 and the Sony WF-1000XM3. If you're in the market to buy a great headset, a great sounding headset, and you don't worry about spending the money, which should you buy? That's the most important question. Should you go with the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2 or the Sony WF-1000XM3? Let's find out in this video. In this video, I'm going to explain everything. We're going to talk about everything, their features, the design, the battery life, the sound quality, the uh, active noise cancelling, the Bluetooth connectivity, everything we're going to talk about in this video. Stay tuned to the end of the video because this really gonna be a good one. I'm gonna start this video by talking about the prices of these two incredible true wireless earbuds. The Sennheiser, which is much recent than the Sony, it was released back in April 2020, and the price back then was two, or about 300 US dollars, which was one of the most expensive true wireless earbuds. And right now you can pick it up for about 270, uh, about 270 US dollars on the Sennheiser website or eBay or even Amazon is the same thing, 270 US dollars. So right now the price have dropped a little bit. While the Sony, when it was released almost one and a half, almost two years now, the price back then was about 230, almost 240 US dollars. But now the price have dropped so much. I mean, right now is the best time to buy the Sony WF-1000XM3. So you got to watch all this video to decide if you should go with the Sennheiser or the Sony. But if you want to buy the Sony because of the price, then this is the right time. Because right now you can pick it up for about 160 or even 150 US dollars on most websites. The price is just different and they're much cheaper in so many places. So you just got to search around to look for the best price. But... If we want to compare these two earbuds based on their prices, Sony is the winner because the price is much cheaper now. And it is, it is a great headset. And you guys are going to find out why. I've been using the Sony more than the Sennheiser. I've used the Sony for almost like seven months. It, was, it has been my number one till I got the Sennheiser. But for the prices, the Sony is the winner. And now let's talk about one of the most important factors of these two incredible earbuds, which is the design. And when it comes to the design, it's going to be based on preference. For me, I've been using the Sony for a very long time. And after using the Sennheiser, I realized the design of the Sennheiser is much better than that of the Sony. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's see, when we open it up, this is it. This is how it looks like. The Sennheiser looks more traditional-like. It looks like how most uh, earbud, most true wireless earbuds out there looks like. Just looks very simple design. But one thing I like about it is the fact that it fits so good in the ear, it's much lighter, and it fits perfectly well in the ear. Like, it doesn't fall off. I've used this thing in the gym. I think yesterday I took it to the gym. It doesn't fall off. And that's something completely different with the Sony WF-1000XM3. Like, the Sony looks completely different from any traditional earbud. Like, just take a look. Just see how it looks like. Completely different. It's much bigger it's heavier and it's not great for the gym. That's one thing that I've never loved with the Sony. When I take it to the gym and I'm doing my bench press, jumping, whatever I'm doing, it's easy to fall off all the time. I have to keep adjusting it in my ears. But that's that's something that never happened with the Sennheiser. So when it comes to the design of the earbuds, I'm going to say the Sennheiser is much better. I love it. It fits so good in the ear, much comfortable than the Sony. And if we take a closer look at this earbud, the Sennheiser has the S, which stands for Sennheiser. Sony has the word Sony spelled in full, which is good so that when you put it on, everybody knows what you're having on. There is one microphone on each earbud on the Sennheiser. The same thing with Sony, just one microphone on each earbud. On the bottom, there is a silicone ear tips which helps to improve on the active noise cancelling. It's the same thing with the Sony. The Sennheiser also have a silicone tip, and they all comes with a replace silicone tip, different sizes, like small, medium, and large, which you can use depending on your type of ear. You can swap them, change every time. 
there is also a connecting pin for a charging or a charging pin and a magnet. So whenever you drop it in a charging case, it magnetizes in there, never fall off, very solid. The same thing with the Sony, when you drop it in there, they magnetize on it, they are never falling off, which is very good. And whenever they drop, and you drop it in, it automatically starts charging, which is really good. So both earbuds are completely different, but it's based, it's gonna be based on preference. But for me, I'm gonna go with a Sennheiser when it comes to the earbuds because the design is much better. It fits well in the ear, it's much comfortable, and they look good too. Yeah. The charging case also is completely different. As you can see right here, this is a charging case of the Sennheiser. This is how it looks like. And this is a charging case of the Sony. This is how it looks like. Completely different. Like they look completely different, like day and night. And I'm going to say the charging case of the Sennheiser, on my opinion, looks better. It looks premium. It looks stylish. It looks like something that you can use to decorate uh, an office, a living room. It has a cloth material, which the only thing I dislike about it is the fact that it's going to get dirty so easily. Like when you're touching it, it's going to get so nasty in a short period of time because, you know, it's cloth. But that of Sony is silicone and plastic. So I've been using it for a long time now. It still looks the same. Nothing to complain about it. It still looks good, even though I prefer the charging case of the Sennheiser because it's smaller, it looks beautiful, stylish, and looks premium than the Sony. The second most important thing about this two earbuds is the sound quality. And which one is the clear winner? I know a lot of people who want to buy a true wireless earbud thinking about the sound quality. That's the number one thing that you want in a true wireless earbud. And I'm going I'm gonna be honest with y'all because I've been using the Sony for almost seven months. The Sennheiser just about, I think, four or five days, now, almost a week now. But the Sennheiser is my number one right now. It's a clear winner. The sound quality is incredible. I'm not saying that the Sony WF-1000XM3 sound poor or bad. No, it sounds good. Great even. But when you use the Sennheiser, you realize that, no, the sound quality here is much better. Let me explain. Both earbuds have bass, nice bass, great bass. If you love bass, if you're a bass lover, then these two, they're what you have to think about. Nothing else, not even the AirPods Pro can compare when it comes to bass. But the Sennheiser has bass that is great at any level. Even up to 100%, the bass is still good. Like there's no distortion, there's no, there's no muffling. Everything just sounds good. But with the Sony, there is bass at certain level. As you're approaching 80%, 90% of volume, 100%, the bass drops. Like there's just a lot of treble. It just sounds too loud, no bass. But Sennheiser is just perfect at any level. That's the reason why it is my number one. But if you value active noise cancelling over sound quality, then you won't go wrong with any of these earbuds. Both of them have great active noise cancellation. I mean, like, these are two of the best earbuds with great active noise cancelling in the market right now, hands down. With the Sony, when you turn it on, oh man, it blocks out a huge amount of noise. I've used the Sony for a long time. I've used it riding motorbike, driving a car, being in an airport, train station. Oh man, it blocks out a huge amount of noise. With the Sennheiser also, it's the same thing. I've used the Sennheiser not for not too long. I haven't used it riding a motorbike, but it blocks out so much noise, almost like the Sony. But if I'm being real honest here, I'm going to say the Sony wins slightly over the Sennheiser because the Sony just blocked so much amount of noise. And that's thanks to the ear tips. You see right here, the silicon ear tips? That of the Sony is much longer. So it goes deeper in your ear and blocks out so much noise than the Sennheiser. That of the Sennheiser is short. As you can see right now, I don't know if you guys can see it well. That of Sony is just longer. Even the ear tips, you can see it's much longer. So that helps to give Sony much better active noise cancellation than the Sennheiser. So I'm going to say that Sony wins here slightly 
over the Sennheiser. And when it comes to the battery life of these two amazing true wireless earbuds, the Sennheiser is the winner. Let me explain why. When the earbud has seven hours of battery life, of listening time, seven hours from a single charge. That is great. And the charging case are together 28 hours. All right. Now, with a Sony, with each earbud, you have six hours of listening time from a single charge. And all together with a charging case, 24 hours. So you see what I'm talking about. 28 hours all together, 26 hours. Or t uh, 26 hours from the Sony. So you see what I'm saying? The Sennheiser is the winner because there's more battery life here than the Sony. And you can charge the Sennheiser earbuds and the charging case much faster than the Sony. You can charge the earbud and the charging case up to 100% for about one and, one and a half hours, which is much faster than the Sony. For the Sony, you can charge the earbud and the charging case for about three and a half hours. You see what I'm talking about? Much faster here, one and a half hours up to 100% three and a half hours. So even the charging time is much better with the Sennheiser over the Sony. And connecting these two headsets to your smartphone or any device is very easy. You just have to download the app or if you don't want to download the app, you can connect them through the Bluetooth. But when you download the app, you have a lot of great features. Now, and the connection of the Sennheiser is much better than that of Sony. That's because the Sennheiser have a recent Bluetooth, Bluetooth 5.1, which is much more recent and is much better than 5.0, which is an older Bluetooth. And yeah, and even the connection range on the Sennheiser is much longer than that of the Sony. So you can go a little bit further. Even when you go further, you have much better connection, less distortion than the Sony. These two earbuds have their dedicated app which you can download on your smartphone and control everything or even customize everything on the earbuds. But my personal favorite is that of the Sony. The Sony Connect app is amazing. It has a lot of information. I mean, it has everything you need to control your earbuds. Like it gives you the battery percentage of the right earbud, the left earbud, and even the charging case. But that of the Sennheiser gives you the battery percentage of only the earbuds. As you can see right here, 100. It doesn't give you the battery percentage of the charging case. That of the Sony, you can even change music from the app. Like you can skip to the next music, the previous, play and pause, increase the volume from right in the bottom right here. You can increase, you can decrease the volume from the app. That is a lot. And when you tap on sound, it gives you so much. You can change from ambient sound, active noise canceling. Uh, you can customize the equalizer. And talking about the equalizer, there are a lot of presets with the Sony. So many different great presets. I mean, like, check it out. You got things like bright, excited, mellow, relaxed, vocal, treble boost, bass boost, uh, speech, uh, manual, which is my favorite because you can change it the way you want it. It's very easy to customize it, as you can see right here. But the equalizer on the Sennheiser, oh man, it's so hard to customize it. You just got to move this little dot right here, move it around, and you figure out where it sounds the best for you, then you drop it right there. So that's it. Very difficult to use. And when you scroll down on that of the Sony, you got things like analyze your ear shape. That's great. You got things like the sound quality mode, uh, D D C H X, and when you tap on system, you got things like this. When you turn it on, and when, whenever you take out the earbud from your ear, it pauses the music, and when you put it back, it automatically start playing. You can also customize the touch features of the of this of each earbud, the left and right. We're gonna talk about that later. And when you scroll down again, you got things like. Um, Automatic power off, which whenever you take out the earbuds you put on a table, you're not using them for about five minutes or so, they automatically power off. And you got the language, you got downloads software. I mean, there's everything on the Sony Connect app. But for the Sennheiser, not much. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say right here, we tap on this little icon, setting icon. You got things like Smart Pause, which is the same as uh, taking out the earbud, they automatically pause the music. You can turn on active noise cancelling from the app. There is uh, auto accept calls. There's side tones. There's high end sound tuning, and earbud customization. 
right there. And yeah, that's it. That's all about the app. As you can see right here, that's everything that you're seeing right here. So when it comes to their dedicated apps, I'm going to give it up to the Sony. And if you don't want to use the app to control the earbud, then you can do it directly on the earbud by simply tap by using the touch control. These two earbuds have great touch control or great touch features. For example, you can tap once to play or pause the music. You can tap two times to go to the next track. You can tap three times to go to the previous. Or you can tap and hold to activate active noise cancelling or the voice assistant. But the Sennheiser is much better than the Sony in the sense that it has a dedicated tap for reducing or increasing the volume. The Sennheiser, when you tap and hold the left earbud, it, it decreased the volume, and when you tap and hold the right earbud, it increased the volume. But that's something absent with the Sony. Sony doesn't have a dedicated tap for reducing or increasing the volume. You have to customize it. You have to go into the app, into the settings, and customize it. It's very difficult. But the Sennheiser is just very easy. You tap and hold, it reduce. You tap and hold, it increase. Very, very easy. So... But if so, what I'm just saying is if you don't want to use the app that comes with it, you want to download those apps or you cannot have it, then you can control everything on the earbuds themselves. And when it comes to the call quality, I'm going to give it up to Sennheiser because it sounds really good, crisp, clear, much better than the Sony. Let me tell you guys what I did. I called my friend Colin, who is a great gamer, has his own gaming YouTube channel, Dale Heaven Gaming. And when I called him, he told me the sound quality on the Sennheiser is really good. I mean, at first, he didn't know that I had the headphone on. He thought I was using my phone to talk with him. But when I asked him that, hey, how's the sound quality? He was like, whoa, it sounds really good. It's exactly as when you're talking directly with your phone. But with the Sennheiser, he's, uh, with the Sony, he says it's a little bit of muffler. It muffles a little bit, but this, it has much volume. It sounds much louder than the Sennheiser, but the Sennheiser is much clearer. So... When it comes to the call quality, I'm definitely going to give it up to the Sennheiser because the sound quality, even at my end, it was much better. I could hear him very well without any issue. They are two of the best true wireless earbuds. You, ca you can't go wrong buying any of them. You're going to love every of them. But if you're somebody who is more into fitness, you love something that is little, lightweight, easy to carry around, fit well in the ear, comfortable all the time then the sennheiser is definitely a clear winner but if you want a headset that's much cheaper right now and that has one of the best active noise cancelling that has great bass uh i'm gonna say the sony is the best way to go there are two of the two best true wireless here but there's no way you can go wrong buying any of these two things so and that's all about this video guys let me know down in the comment section, what do you guys think about these two incredible true wireless earbuds? Which one do you like best? Which one are you using? Tell me your experience. Tell me what you think about these two great earbuds. And thank you all for watching the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification for more videos, more great videos coming up on Big Field TV. Until then, see you into the next one. Peace.